Welcome back to Let's Play Unreal. And we have arrived on the surface of the floating island. And I'm going to be pretty subtle during this level because this is one of my favorite songs in all of gaming. Beautiful piece of music. Not only is this my favorite song in the game, this is also one of my favorite levels in all of gaming. Well, that maybe overdoes it a little bit, but this is definitely my favorite level in this game. Just the scenic village. Tranquility, night sky, galaxies. Only to be spoiled by some crawl and some scar, but of course they're no match for me. So first thing we gotta do is go to this building here. And throw switches throw a series of switches to progress in the level. Here we have a full-size bunny cow, two-legged running horse thing on YouTube. I'm going to do my best to put this video in one level, but I want to save it because it's just beautiful. So I'll try to fit it in 15 minutes. Oh, he shot the bunny cow, stupid. So you gotta make your way through these rustic buildings here. Why you're here? I guess, you know, you've just happened to come across it. And what's nothing what's wrong with looking for a little bit of tranquility after being on the island as long as we have. But we're not gonna find it here because there's enemies everywhere. Here's another one of those switches that open the door out there. Basically we gotta unlock our way through the level. Let's get flat cannon going here. Oh, I killed a bunny cow. Poor bunny cow. So they're, they're not much bunnies, they're oversized. And here is a pistol power up that we don't need. Actually, we do need it, never mind. That's the fourth level of the pistol, and that is as powerful as it gets. That one's pretty easy to find, it's not really subtly hidden or anything. Oh, hi there. Kind of freaked out. That Nolly's still down there, but whatever. We'll deal with it. Unfortunately, it's a sacrifice. Oh. Unfortunately, oh, he moved. Excellent. So you just move the switch here, and then this falls. And this? Just this little area down here. And what's about to happen here is actually part of the music I don't like. Oh, snap. You get the levels and counter music, but it's pretty bad. This one's that much better. So there's actually a secret passage over here. Just throw a couple uh, eight balls at it. And we get spiders. My favorite. Oh. I think they can outsmart me now. Not this time.
So yeah, we're just kind of in this building of some kind here. And we have a gunner or something. Oh, snap. Alright, that was kind of close. It's not going to happen. Nah, I don't think I need to use that. So there's health right there. Alright, this way? No, that's back out there. There's another switch up here somewhere, I think. Oh, yeah, there's enemies. There we go. Strange beasts flying into the mountains at night. I hear the roar overhead, so definitely never before have I heard that. Great evil must dwell within the mountain. That'll be important in the next video. The dichotomy between this level and the next level, namely in terms of the music, is indescribably epic. Anyway, that's the gate where we first saw the crawl at the beginning of the level. Yeah, to do all that, just to open that gate. But now we can finally get into the inner part of the city. We're about halfway through the level, but I'm guessing that get to the end. We'll, we'll make it. I will find a way to make it. I think this part's kind of shorter anyway. There's a Nolly. This is kind of like center of town here. Crawl. There's no more. No. It's like you get like every everywhere you want in the city, you can kind of head towards the, where this obelisk is. But we can't actually do anything in there yet. We will need to go to that center area eventually. We don't have to go here yet, although there is an item behind there. I'll get it now. Just so I don't forget, there's an area we can go here. This is actually one of the longer levels, so I'm wondering if I'm going to make it all the way through. There may be a break in this video. If there is, it may happen soon, or it may have already happened. Anyway, there's some armor back here, and you can sneak past those crawl back there without fighting them, because they're mesmerized by how beautiful the planet is, so I'm not going to interrupt them, because the planet is freaking beautiful, so... And not that anyone didn't notice, but as you play through the game, time passes, so I guess it's nighttime now. It seems to pass pretty slowly, planetary rotation is much more slow than that of Earth. There's another switch in there, but that door's not open yet, so we can't get in there. We have to hack our way through the rest of the level. By that, I mean find secret passages and doors. Crawl are sometimes just annoying, so I'm just going to sword. Sometimes it's okay to go through man. Anyway, what you gotta do here is find that crack in the wall and head through. And as a warrior. Oh, 
I can break all those barrels in there and get some more ammo. Right? But there's like spiders in there too, and I hate spiders, so I'm not gonna do that. Anyway, so this takes you up into that manor building that we passed earlier. It's a secret entrance to it. And here we have Crawl playing a game with dice, and I'm not gonna engage them either. It's some kind of game with dice that they stand around and just play because they're bored and tired of the scar messing with them all the time. The Crawl are like, in a way, they're only enemies unless you like engage them. If you leave them alone and don't, don't fight them, they won't necessarily fight you. But if they notice you, they'll come after you, so they don't notice because they're playing their little Death Bones game, so... So they don't even notice the knowledge there either. But there's a translator message somewhere in this level that talks about how the Nali um, say that the crawl leave them alone and let them go about their business. So it's like they're not entirely bad. So anyway, up here you gotta come in here and there's a switch you gotta throw and that switch opens that door outside that we saw earlier on the side of that building. And warrior. They're all sleeping. They also like sleeping because it's nighttime. They're all tired, so waking them from their sleep and killing them. Because it's nighttime. Very important piece of equipment in this room that we will definitely need is the scuba gear. Not that we haven't already gotten scuba gear earlier, but this time we'll pretty much need it for sure. I've done it before without it, and you almost die if you have anything less than like 50 health, but 50 health is bad as it is. It's just good to have that. So we get that, and now I can come back down here. Maybe we should those other crawl noticing, and then this is that door that was closed before, so we come out that, and now we head back down this way. And that's not the door that opens. It was, uh, there's another door. I thought it was that door. It's not. We gotta go back into the obelisk area again. The door that opens is this one. And then, when you hit this switch, Then it opens this door here. Wait, the warrior guarding something pretty important. We'll see in just a little bit here. Some more rifle ammo. Look at that technology in this archaic village. I'm talking about the seeing eye and the mind knows, knowing not to disturb the townsfolk unnecessarily. They believe that they're still free prevents all that rebellion. So that's why, like the. You know, they're not really bothering them. All forces keep them under control. Kill all those with sons of resistance. So they're they're creating slave labor from from this island. I almost think that these islands are like the primary residence of all the Nali and that the the, the, the ground Nali are more like the repressed Nali that are not rich or something. Like the Nali that live on the islands are upper class. And those that live on the lower level or the planet's surface can use the, uh, the islands as a, a location of, um, like a, a safe haven to get away. Vacation. It's the Nali's vacation spot. This is Florida of the Nali. That's what this is. Anyway, this is all like technology and metal because of the scar have taken over Florida. So, we come over here and you hit this panel and it says Mountain Base Underwater Entrance Door Controls. Well, the only place there's water is right there, and that's a mountain, so... Might as well head out there and see what see what's waiting for us. We'll actually see, past that earlier, there's like a force field of sorts sticking out the mountain. So what could that mean? All I can say is find out next time on Let's Play Unreal. Have a good day. Don't sue me, H.C. Bailey.